Arsenal loanee pair Matteo Gendizzi and William Saliba are continuing to show Mikel Arteta what he's missing in France. Both players have heavily starred to help Marseille to an unbeaten start to the League One season amid Arsenal's troubles in the Premier League. After spending the 2-0-2-0-2-0-2-1 season at Hertha Berlin, Gendizzi joined Marseille in July on a season-long loan with an option to buy. Unai Emery brought him to Arsenal in 2018 but he fell out of favour under Arteta and was frozen out of his plans. Many fans expected Saliba to enjoy a breakthrough season at the Emirates Stadium, but he's also been shipped back out to France. He impressed on loan at OSC Nice last season and joined Gendizzi at Marseille a week later. Marseille finished 18 points behind third place as Monaco in the Champions League qualifying spot last term. But four games into the new campaign, Jorge Sampaio's side are currently in that position after a 2,0 win over Monaco on Saturday. Marseille are enjoying an unbeaten start, winning three and drawing one of their opening four league games, scoring ten goals, the second most behind Paris Saint-Germain. Gendetsi and Saliba have been ever present on that run whilst Arsenal have had severe issues in central defence and midfield as they sat 16th in the Premier League after four outings. Arteta's first-choice centre-back pairing is £50 million man Ben White and Gabriel Magalhaes, but his backup options are Rob Holding and Pablo Mari. The Spanish boss also had to field Ainsley Maitland Niles in midfield against Norwich City last time out. Granite Kaka's reckless nature has earned him a three-match suspension, whilst Thomas Partey's injury woes have trickled into the new campaign. It's baffled many supporters that Gendetsi, and more so Saliba, aren't deemed ready to bolster Arteta's squad. Arsenal legend Ian Wright has been vocal about the club's decision to offload Saliba, especially after the 5,0 thumping at Manchester City two weeks ago. He told the Premier League, him supposed to believe that Kola Sinek, someone that they're trying to get rid of, is better than William Saliba. Saliba, who is out on loan and apparently not at the, required, standard. So if Saliba is not at the standard to play in this team, and Kolasinac can play, why have we bought him? Because if Kolasinac can play in front of him, what's going on? Why have we bought him?